Okay, so you've had your fun. Now it's my turn. I'm gonna go to my most memorable hunt of all time. It's in the Whitetail Woods. It's Iowa. It's my drop tine buck. It's the buck that I watched for over eight hours. Yep. And I saw him first thing in the morning. He was so far away. I had no stand set up. And throughout the entire day, I snuck in, hung that stand, and got that deer to 40 yards. And I will never have a story or a hunt like that again. Man, this deer was so far away from where you actually ended up shooting him, it's not even funny. Oh, he was so far away. And I remember when he laid down the first time, I'm like, okay, he's down, he's laying there. I'm gonna watch this deer for as long as I have to. I'm not gonna leave deer to find deer. Right. So I stayed on him and we did what we had to do. And when I finally got up in the tree stand, I pulled out all the tricks. I rattled. I grunted, I did the can, I did everything. And it finally, the deer turns, he finally hears me and he starts coming in. He hits a ditch, completely disappears. I have no idea where he went. And all of a sudden I look up and he's standing at the fence and he, I don't know which way he's gonna go. So like panic completely ensued after that. Yes. Oh, I just center punched him. I just center punched him. He ain't gonna make it. Go look at him. Look at him. Both sides pass through. You're good. He's gonna lay down. Both sides. Both. Stay yeah, stay on him. He's going down. <laughs> he's hooked because he's got a droopy beam and a drop tide and a hop. Look. At that deer. Oh, he's got double draptines. Look at this thing. 